For the first time in almost two decades, the Yankees closer situation is a little bit shaky. Araldis Chapman, of course, has been the man in the Bronx finishing out games for the last few years, but he has not been good lately. And he's also a little bit hurt, which begs the question, who is going to be the Yankees closer for the remainder of this season? Jake, why is this important? Why, why should anyone care about the Yankees closer situation? Well, everybody knows about Mariano Rivera, but the Yankees closer group has been the most solid, most consistent, like position group in baseball, really since Rivera became the closer in 1997. He missed some time in 2002 and 2003. There was a bit of meh going on there. He missed all of 2012 when his leg exploded, when he was catching fly balls in the outfield. But really that whole stretch, right? Like 2003 to today, we've always known who the Yankees closer was going to be. Even once Rivera retired, it's been a squadron of famous, successful, well-established capital C closers, right? Dellen Betances, Zach Britton filled in when Chapman was hurt. We had David Robertson, we had Rafael yep. Soriano, Andrew Miller, but now things are significantly more cloudy. Yeah, I mean, we've seen, you know, Chapman sort of start to decline after his run as one of the greatest closers we've ever seen. But now we're at a point where it's like, okay, who's it going to be? And the guys who you would expect to maybe fill in for them or for him, you know, that we've been so used to seeing coming out of the Yankees bullpen are not options anymore. Del Matances is, is long gone, obviously. Chad Green just went down, surgery. Britton, he's still recovering from Tommy John. Adam Adovino, he's obviously gone. These are guys we've gotten used to. So who is gonna fill this void? Because we don't really have as many super famous relievers in that bullpen anymore besides Chapman. So who, who do we think could fill this, this void? So going into the season, my answer would have been Jonathan Loisaga, who was just dynamite last year. Throwing up upper 90s, touching 100, he was unhittable. He's been super shaky so far this year. The Yankees bullpen as a whole has been good, but Loisaga has not been. So he's definitely not gonna be one of the options. Like you said before, Chad Green, he's under the knife with Tommy John. He probably would have been the guy. He's filled in for Chapman in the past. And then Michael King, who was really good in relief for them last year, has kind of moved into this multiple inning relief role where he's not throwing in one inning bursts. And I would be skeptical that the Yankees are gonna move him out of that. So expect the man in the ninth inning to be none other than Clay Holmes. Jordan, who is Clay Holmes? Why do I need to care about Clay Holmes? When did you first see Clay Holmes in person? Yeah, so I think there are three very important things to know about Clay Holmes. The first thing is, well, where did he come from? Well, he came up with the Pirates, a long climb through the Pirates system. He was a pretty decorated high school player, but he was a ninth round pick he signed for $1.2 million. So people did think he was talented, but it was a slow burn, very slow, one level at a time throughout the minors of the Pirates. And then he finally made it at age 25 and he just wasn't great. But what was he good at? He was always good at getting ground balls. And last year, before he was traded to the Yankees, we'll get to that in a second, he was getting nearly 72% ground ball rate, which was leading all of baseball before the trade last year. And so that was something that Brian Cashman saw, even though his ERA was not great. And he said, hey, this is someone that can help our bullpen. This was last year. They bring him in. And of course, Yankees fans are always like, no, we want more. We want more. We need someone famous that we've heard of that's really cool and good and awesome. And we know all about him. He has said multiple all-star appearances. Trade for Dennis Eckersley. Exactly. Uh, but no, they were like, no, we're trading for Clay Holmes. And everyone's like, who? Who's Clay Holmes? That guy stink. What? He's on the Pirates. He must be bad. And then what did Clay Holmes do last year? He was incredible. He was sensational. He threw two scoreless innings in the wild card game. I know they lost, but he was, Clay Holmes wasn't the problem. So he was good last year. Coming into this year, though, it was still like, okay, cool. They got Clay Holmes. Great. He's very good in the sixth or seventh inning, right? That's probably what we expected for him coming into this year. And instead, he has been truly one of the best relievers in the entire world. And why is that? Because Jake Mintz, his sinker, is quite possibly one of the best pitches, single pitches, in the entire league. When you look at dominant relievers, not all of them are one-pitch guys. Yeah. But a significant number of them have been. If you look at Kenley Jansen and his cutter, Mariano Rivera and his cutter, Clay Holmes kind of fits into that role where it's like, he's going to throw you a sinker, probably, okay? You're not going to hit it, even though you know what's coming. And that creates a level of consistency and dominance in the later innings when that pitch is on. Now, when that pitch is off, you get like late career Sean Doolittle where the fastball's not missing bats. 
But still, like, Holmes is unbelievable right now. And just because he's not famous and hasn't done a lot of closing in the past, doesn't mean he's not going to thrive in this role. And we're both with big believers. Also, uh, unlike, you know, fastballs with, you know, Chapman, maybe it's not working, like, a sinker is still probably going to be hit into the ground. Might be hit hard into the ground, right? But <laughs> he, it is it is a ball that is relying. He currently is has the highest ground ball rate we, we've really ever seen for a reliever, over 80%, which is completely ridiculous. But Yankees fans should know what this looks like because they, they've had Zach Britton, and that's he's the king of the sinker baller. And uh, while he's out, Holmes is, of course, a right-handed version of that. And I think he can thrive in this role. He is still getting a decent amount of strikeouts as well. And while it does seem weird that he's not someone that has already, you know, been an all-star game, gotten Cy Young votes that we all know about, on a performance level and what the stuff is doing right now, he absolutely deserves to be the closer. And I think he's going to take that job from Chapman. And I'm just curious what happens next. What happens next to Chapman? What happens next year when Chapman is, is not even potentially on the team anymore as he hits free agency? Uh, do we think Holmes is just their closer going forward? I mean, he's under control for the next three more years. I mean, it just depends on how he performs, right? But for this season, expect Holmes to get the ninth inning moving forward. They're going to have to use Chapman in some role. They're not just going to you know, toss him to the side. I would predict that they give him some time off, they have him work his way back in, rebuild his confidence, and I wouldn't be shocked to see Chapman regain the closer position at some point down the line. I would expect the Yankees to add more bullpen pieces through trades this year. The next Clay Holmes, trade for another Pirates reliever you don't know about who's <laughs> going to be the closer in the future. Shouts out uh, David Bednar. Yeah. But I think even though Holmes isn't famous, Yankee fans who watch a lot of games know how good this guy is. They know how dominant he can be. And I think they should feel really confident with him throwing the ninth inning for them. Totally agree. And I would say this. Uh, one, he's about to be very famous. And two, the next time Brian Cashman trades for a reliever you never heard of, maybe maybe trust that he might have some idea what he's doing. I would just, I would just say that because Clay Holmes has made us all feel very silly. Uh, that's the Yankees closer situation. Why do we care? Because they're the Yankees and everybody cares about the Yankees. If you want to know more about Clay Holmes, make sure you check out my piece on him on foxsports.com or on the Fox Sports app.